Months of continental campaigning, government believes that it has secured enough support. It has dismissed the fears of a francophone, anglophone political divide or that Pretoria's role in the Libyan crisis compromises South Africa's candidature. We crisscrossed the continent. We have used every other available opportunity to talk to all countries, irrespective of who is whose former colonizer. As chair, South Africa says it will push to consolidate the African agenda in multilateral institutions, strengthen AU and UN relations in security and conflict resolution, focus on infrastructure development, including reducing poverty, promote the emancipation of women, and the reform of global institutions such as the UN, the IMF, and the World Bank. We believe that Dr. Atlamini Zuma can build on the good work done by previous leaders as well as consolidate achievements made in the last 10 years in a consultative manner to continue to build a better Africa. Minister Lamine Zuma, an experienced diplomat and a veteran politician, says she's under no illusion about the huge challenges. If I do get elected, I will serve just as I've served in any other position. But obviously, um, I will not forget that uh, women are still not free in our continent, in our country. I will continue with the gender struggles in addition to whatever else I have to do. The 53-member African Union is often criticized as weak, divided, and slow to respond to crisis situations. Tamit Dixon, SABC News, Bila Bila, Limpopo.